when I'm making art for my pen plotter, sometimes I feel like the output is too perfect. All the lines end up being so precise and smooth that I feel like it starts to look really artificial and kind of computery. So I created this line wobbler class in processing to help me draw vector lines that have a little bit of texture and deformation so they don't look quite so perfect. So I can use this class to draw straight lines or polylines with multiple segments or simple shapes like rectangles and circles. And I can even load in an SVG and use the points from that graphic as the source for a polyline drawing. And for all these options, I can draw either a continuous wobbly line or a wobbly line with little breaks in it, like you see on this side. And for my purposes, I prefer to use a pretty subtle version of this effect. But there are several variables that you can use to adjust the properties to get different effects. So I would normally control these properties through code, but in this sketch I've hooked up some GUI controls just so you can more easily see the effect of changing these variables. So the way this line wobbler works is it takes the line that I want to draw and it splits it up into several intermediate points. Those intermediate points get kind of randomly shuffled around a bit and then it draws the final line through all those points to give me this line that has some random wobble to it. I can turn on this draw guides toggle so you can sort of see what it's doing. These green points define the line that I want to draw, and then the red points here are all the intermediate points that are getting added to create the effect. So the first thing I might want to change is the amplitude and the frequency of the wobbliness. Amplitude works how you might expect. Increasing the value increases the distance that the intermediate points vary from the original center line. And frequency works in probably the opposite way that you might expect. This variable is actually setting the number of pixels between each of the intermediate points. So setting this lower actually increases the number of points and setting it higher creates fewer points. So maybe I should rename this or change how it works, but that's how it works for now. So as I said, I prefer to keep this effect pretty subtle, but you can get some interesting effects if you crank these values way up and make things really extreme. This other setting controls the amount of random jitter in the frequency of the points. So if I turn this all the way down, then all these intermediate points should be evenly spaced. And turning it up adds some random variation in the spacing of those points. If I make that too high, then the points start to overlap. And if I bring up the amplitude so you can see, that actually causes the line to sort of double back on itself in some places. I don't usually like that, but again, it might be interesting in some contexts. There are two settings that control the behavior of my endpoints. Basically just setting whether these should also wobble their position or whether they should remain in the exact position that I specified when I draw the line. And then the last few settings just control the frequency and size of the little gaps that appear in the broken line variation. So this line on the bottom is supposed to be a broken line. We're only seeing one little break in it right now, but I can increase the frequency of those breaks to make more appear. And I can also adjust how big they are, or rather the maximum size and the minimum size that will get chosen for those. So the source code for this line wobbler is up on GitHub. You can find the class here in the source folder. Just drag that into your sketch if you wanna use it. 
There are a few examples included here in the examples folder. And the readme on the main page outlines how to get started and how to use all the drawing methods and the variables that are available. So hopefully that helps you make some nice wobbly lines for your pen plots.